my mother um, strove very hard to to um, to have us live in areas that were that were always good, that were always safe, and that meant also that I never really I never really was around a lot of West Indian uh, West Indians, and I was I never lived in a West Indian community. Um, and so, really and truthfully, when, I, when you are looking to marry someone or to meet someone, you look in the area that you live, you know? So I lived in Toronto, it was primarily Anglo-Saxon. All my boyfriends were of varied ethnic backgrounds. You know, I went from um, the, the Russian Jew to the German Jew to the Greek to the Italian, you know, it was a variety of, of nationalities, but you look for what is common, and what is common would be your language, it could be your class, it could be your personality, your likes, your dislikes. So, you know, when I, when I met my husband, I didn't really see it as being a mixed marriage, because we had far too much in common. And so when my children arrived, it wasn't as if I even thought about our marriage and our families being mixed. And certainly they were. And if you know anyone who is um, a black person, someone from Africa, the shades of black, brown, beige are always in one family. So you can have a, 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 a rather this, this rainbow of colors. So, you know, there, there are issues of, of strength, you know, because I lived in Peterborough, I raised